Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have two red Bordeaux here. Nothing fancy in either of them. One's a Bordeaux, one's a Bordeaux Superior, which means it follows the same regulations of Bordeaux, but it's got a little bit more alcohol in the finished wine. Um, so I will save the Superior one for uh, the second. Um, and uh, the first one is Chateau d'Ozanay, uh, Bordeaux 2015, and it says Vin Bio. Doesn't mean it smells, it means it's uh, being produced uh, according to certain organic rules. It smells like good, crisp, young, juicy claret. Um, I mean, what do I mean by crisp? Um, sometimes some, I, I remember uh, talking to a winemaker in South America and I said, look, if I have a problem with a lot of the wines that are currently being produced in your area, it's that none of them is refreshing. And he couldn't get his, idea, his, his head around this idea of red wine being refreshing. Well, this smells like it's going to have um, a little bit of juiciness, a little bit of sappiness, something that um, uh, really gets your, your chops going. Uh, and it's not quite the sort of uh, wine I want to chill and, uh, and have with light fish dishes, but there is a refreshing succulence about it. Oh, it smells like it's going to have a refreshing succulence about it. Bit of earthiness, bit of dark fruit in there, uh, but also some, yeah, a little bit of fragrance and uh, herbiness too. Mm, slightly toasty. I don't know whether there's any oak anywhere near this. It's got, it's just got this lovely supple fruit flavours. Uh, there's this plummy, blackcurrant um, earthiness, and uh, you can feel, uh, you can feel yeah, there's tan in there, uh, there's, there's freshness, there's a juiciness, and it, it's one of those that you just think, if more Bordeaux could be like this, if more vintages could be like 2015, of course, which was a pretty good vintage for the area, uh, but there'd be more good value, uh, honest, ripe, gentle, easy drinking, affordable wines. What is it, eight quid or something like that? Eight quid. Um, very tasty, and I'm going to finish this, this little bit that's in this bottom of this glass. More of that style of wine, please, Bordeaux. We like that. Let's see whether we like the second one, which is Avery's Fine Claret, uh, Bordeaux Superior. Uh, it doesn't say who's made it, just says a blend of smooth Merlot Classic. Uh, structured Cabernet Franc, spicy, st bleh, I'll start again. Smooth Merlot, structured Cabernet Sauvignon, spicy Cabernet Franc and rich Malbec. Um, sounds promising, it's 2012 vintage. Um, so 2012 compared to 2015. 2015 is the uh, higher quality. There's some really good wines in 2012, uh, but they, they, uh, they, they often strike me as being a little bit uh, four square. Uh, they, you almost like want to just get them to... Hey, chill out. But let's see whether this is one of them that uh, has already chilled out. A little bit more spice, um, and um, it's funny, it doesn't smell like it's going to be as concentrated as the, uh, as the previous one. Uh, and I don't know whether that is that the, um, the fresh fruit flavours that, that were in the, in, in the first one are still going me, 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 me. Uh, here, uh, it's, it's had three more years to mellow. Uh, but yes, I get similar fruit flavours, a little bit of plum, a little bit of um, red and dark berry, uh, and that slight earthiness. But maybe this touch more... Uh, spice, which I don't know whether it's uh, from grape tannin or um, it from it's from the grapes or a little bit of uh, oak barrel. It's funny; it didn't smell as concentrated, but um, it does have quite a bit of power to it. This gentle, um, it's funny, gentle fruit, firm spice, um, and um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm left going. Uh, the first one is probably the, the fresh, juicy one. This one may be a little bit more serious. Uh, but um, sometimes you want something that's serious, sometimes you want something that's uh, slightly more frivolous. Uh, the first one, I, I, prefer, I, I really like it for its just in-your-face juiciness and pleasure. Um, and pleasure is something that um, uh, young, uh, cheap Bordeaux doesn't often deliver. But um, and the second one, yeah, it's a, it, it may be a little bit more grown up, but uh, do you know what? Sometimes I like the juven juvenility, is that a word? Uh, the juvenile nature of the, uh, uh, of, of the Chateau d'Ozanay. Uh, but both good adverts for um, the, the basic Bordeaux appellation, and, um, uh, and uh, I, I'm struggling to think which I'd like a glass of first this evening with my steak. See you soon.